Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole and in today's video, I am going to share with you what I decided to pack for my baby girl's hospital bag. I did watch a few videos on YouTube to kind of get an idea of what to pack and what not to pack and I also took some advice from some recent um, new moms that I've um, interacted with via social media. They gave me some tips as well. Um, I may be a little bit overpacked, but I'd rather be overpacked than underpacked. Um, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me. And if you're already subscribed, what's up? Good to see you again. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing what I packed for my baby girl's hospital bag, then stick around for this video. I did get this bag as a baby shower item. This was on my Amazon registry. I will link this bag below. This is a beautiful convenient diaper bag that I still like just to have. I wanted something neutral that myself or my husband would be comfortable with carrying and I didn't want to get anything too girly or too feminine. So in the inside of the bag I'm going to show you all of the things that I have packed for her. I ordered this beautiful muslin blanket from Amazon. It was 20 bucks but it's really nice and soft. I did wash everything, but it has a floral print on it, and I think it's going to be really nice and cozy to have in the hospital for her. I also ordered another muslin blanket with purple flowers on it. It's super soft and cozy, so I'll be taking two blankets for her for swaddling or just to cover her up or when we do skin, skin to skin contact. I think these light blankets are really going to come in handy for that. I also packed some birth cloths. I packed three of them. Just some regular basic birth cloths. I packed four newborn size t-shirts. And I just have some different prints and different styles and colors. I also packed this cute swaddle set. It has the matching headband piece with the bow. I am going to take photos of her in the hospital in this outfit set. This was also on my baby registry. And it came from Amazon. And it's this beautiful blanket. And you swaddle, you swaddle the baby and you put the matching headband on to take some really nice photos and pictures. So I'm really looking forward to using this, this set. Also, I packed four pair of onesies, bodysuits, and I have this cute blue newborn onesie with a little owl on there. I have this blue onesie with the little bunnies on there. I did get this from Kohl's. And I thought this was really cute and has the little bunnies on the feet. I got this as a present for my baby shower. My husband actually picked this little outfit out to pack. He really likes this little outfit. I think it's really cute. So we have this one as well. And then we have this other really pretty little onesie. It's size newborn. I can't remember where I got it from, but I purchased this very early on in my pregnancy. Not sure if it's going to be super cold or not, but I am packing this size newborn. Snow coat is very soft and fuzzy, fuzzy, and it has little bare ears on the, the head on the hood. And I believe I got this from TJ Maxx for like $12.99, but it's really soft and I am due in March, so um, it could still be very cold or it could be a mild day, so not sure if I'll use it. However, if it's really cold or it happens to be snowing that day and very windy, I definitely wanted to have something warm for her to um, go home in. Also purchased this really pretty Juicy Couture um, baby blanket from Ross. And it's really fuzzy and pretty. So I will be taking this 
to throw over her while we're in the hospital and once we leave the hospital and the inside is super fluffy and soft it has gold bows all over it and then it has the ruffles on the border of the blanket on the side pocket here I just have these um, disposable um, what are these called disposable breast pads I received these as a sample so I just threw them in there I'm not sure if I'll use them but I figured since they were samples I'll just put them in there just to have just in case I may end up wanting to use them and in this front pocket here I have two little hats that I ordered offline and I ordered these from eBay they're about six dollars a piece so she has two little hats to keep her head warm and also just in case she has a lot of hair I did pack her little Minnie Mouse hairbrush and hair comb set so that I'm able to brush her hair and fix it nicely for photos and last but not least I have this little bottle of um, lanolin, lanolin nipple care for breastfeeding so I was told that you should always put some um, nipple cream on your breast before every time you breastfeed to keep your nipples from cracking and keeping them healthy. So I definitely wanted to pack a little sample of this because I will be trying to breastfeed in the hospital. On the side here, I have this little pacifier holder. So I did pack her some pacifiers. I will show you the pacifiers I have packed. So I have these little man pacifiers here. And I also have this one that says princess on it. And I have another one that says big, dream big. And they're all a little bit different, so I'm not sure which one she'll like. So I just went ahead and packed three of them. If you've had a baby already or you are expecting a baby soon, or if you just have any ideas or tips for me, Make sure you leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. If you think I forgot anything, let me know as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And also, you can follow me on social media at Nicole the Scientist. That's my Instagram page. And I will be keeping um, things up to date on my Instagram page as far as me possibly going into labor and what things are going on. So if you want to keep up with me that way, make sure you send me a follow request. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next video.